We're now getting a peek at the documentary Atari Game Over. The film focuses on the downfall of the company and puts New Mexico in the spotlight. After thousands of copies of the E.T. video game, dubbed the worst Atari game ever, were buried in a landfill in Alamogordo. News 13's Kayla Ayers has that story and more on where the unearthed video games are now. A first glimpse at Atari Game Over. The documentary promises to unearth the truth behind the demise of the gaming company. It was during production that filmmakers unearthed a tomb of Atari game cartridges in an Alamogordo landfill. The trailer was just outstanding. It really, really uh, showcases what happened here pretty well. Mayor Pro Tem Robert Rentschler says 30 years of speculation led to the dig. Filmmakers were hoping to find thousands of copies of the video game based on the hit movie E.T., a game that was such a flop it was blamed for Atari's financial fall. It was pretty huge, actually. You go to the Internet and type in out in the world and what comes up, Atari Graveyard. About 1,400 Atari cartridges were found in the landfill in April, nearly 200 of them copies of the E.T. game. 100 games went to the makers of Atari Game Over. Now city officials say months later, the rest of those cartridges are still sitting in a storage locker. The city says they're working on an agreement with the New Mexico Museum of Space History, but until that happens, the games won't be on display or for sale. City officials say they hope to have everything ironed out by the time Atari Game Over hits Xbox consoles this fall. Kayla Ayers, KRQE News 13. City officials say they hope to have three gaming displays in the town, including one at the Museum of Space History. They also say they think the urban legend and resulting documentary could create a tourism boom there. We have a link to the full trailer on KRQE.com. Look under links.